start recording button. So uh, I'll talk us through what I've written on the board already. Uh, what I said initially was that if this K had been a number like seven, you might understand what to do. You could use either the addition elimination method or the substitution method. If you were going to use the addition elimination method, you might multiply the first equation by negative four and the second equation by three. Uh, doing so would give you negative 12x for the first equation, 12x for the second equation. When you added them together, the x's would disappear, and you could solve for y. Your other choice is to use the substitution method. Um, that looks pretty convenient here. If I solve this first equation for y, I get 4y equals 3x y equals 3x over 4, and now I can substitute that expression into the second equation. So I replace this y with 3x over 4. You end up with 4x minus 5 times 3x over 4 equals k. And what's the easiest way to solve for x? Uh, my opinion Probably the best strategy is to clear the equation of fractions. And I would multiply every term on both sides of the equal sign by 4 to get rid of this fraction. So 4 times the first term would give me 16x. 4 times the second term. Uh, kind of picture a little 4 right here as being multiplied times this second term. The 4s cancel out. We're left with minus 5 times 3x is minus 15x. Don't forget to multiply the k by 4, and you get 4k. So 16x minus 15x is x. x equals 4k. To find y, we replace this x right here with 4k. So 3 times 4k over 4 gives us with the fours canceling out 3K. So there's your ordered pair solution in terms of K, 4K, 3K. And you can check your work too. Uh, try substituting 4K in for X, 3K in for Y, and see if you get true statements for both equation one and equation two. And I'm sure you'll see that that does indeed move to be Okay, my all that I just went through, I use the substitution method. Same thing would work if you used addition elimination. When you multiply the second equation by three, you get 12x minus 15y equals 3k. Add them together, you'd solve for y first and then find out what x is. Okay, there you go. Thank you.